IT experts and developers have been talking about the upcoming era of wireless technologies for several years already. Specialists believe WiMAX to be one of the most prospective technologies of wireless broadband connection. Intel Corporation invested a lot of efforts to make this technology a standard. In the cities with a population over a million people, Internet providers have to compete with each other in order to win this market. We don't have to explain to the advanced inhabitants of megapolises what are the advantages of WiMAX. However, the broadband wireless technology based on the 802.16-2004 standard also promises to become a solution to the so-called last mile problem, first of all in the countryside for the local government, rural schools, hospitals and home users. At Intel, we believe WiMAX standard will also boost the manufacturing of components for the wireless device market and will provide significant growth of PC user numbers. It is probably for the first time in Russia we witness WiMAX use in real life and in a real Russian village. And it is today that our employees are getting convinced that this technology is particularly perspective for Russia, especially for the Russian rural areas. Remote Russian villages represent today the most perspective market for WiMAX technology. Certainly, first of all, there is simply no opportunity to drag wire communication to all villages. Second, we do feel the need for highly skilled doctors today. With these technologies, rural medicine, rural schools get the opportunities which were simply impossible to imagine before. This absolutely goes hand in hand with President's national projects for education and medicine. Thanks to Intel Corporation, doctors and teachers from rural areas could estimate the main advantage of new technology, quick deployment and the high speed of connection to the World Wide Web. IT experts could value one more important thing, low cost. Greater coverage of base stations let us install the equipment in the large cities in order to give high-speed access to the Internet and high-quality IP telephony service to a number of surrounding towns and villages. Such kind of broadband wireless network is stable and provides secure communication. Three-sector WiMAX base station is installed on the roof of a business center in the town of Arzimas. All other equipment is inside the vehicle. Telescopic tower is used to lift the antenna 26 feet above the roof of the van. Base station, manufactured by Alvarian, costs about $3,000. Subscribers said 10 times less. Price is given for 2006 mid-year. Deployment takes only several minutes. At Krasnoye Secondary School of Arzimas Rural District, unlike at other rural schools, there is internet connection, but there is no local network in the computer class. Moreover, July is the time of summer vacations, and for cost-saving purposes, internet is shut down until September. But today, local school children got a chance to take part in a unique master class. Hence, in the early morning, a minivan with a complete set of WiMAX equipment drove into the schoolyard. Intel and ADS employees established connection to the base station. It takes several minutes to start the class. Under close supervision of Evgeny Potarakin, project moderator of the Russian Internet Encyclopedia Letopisi.ru, nine graders learn new ways of using the hypertext markup. For two hours, they have been placing information about their village and school life up to the World Wide Web. As we see, there is Krasne, which is connected to your village. There is also Krasne located in the Nikolaev district of Khabarovsk territory. We will get back to ourselves later, and now let's visit the others. The project is aimed primarily to show kids that not everything is in this world about them and that you are not a unique center of the universe. If you live in a village Krasne and you think this is the only such a village, then you are mistaken. During this time, the school principal records a soundbite with the story about her native village and the school. Now, this soundbite is available to anyone from any part of the world who can understand Russian. Before leaving the school of Krasne village, Intel employees installed local area network at the computer class, a gift that stays there longer after this special day.
In the second half of the day, YMX equipped minivan and moves to the next street of Krasne and stops in front of the village's medical station. Video conference call is being established for the IP protocol with the administrative center's clinic. Currently, there is no other technology but YMAX that allows to deploy an access point to the computer telemedicine network near such a small village as hospital in several minutes. In case of emergency, such an access point can be easily deployed near a patient's house. Doctors have received a unique tool they didn't have before. Today, they can not only examine the patient here and then send him to the consultation, but can directly receive consultation from the leading experts in the area without leaving the home village. Doctors can do functional diagnostics with special medicine equipment, as well as get an advice from the patient's doctor who observes him before. WiMAX technology provided them with this unique opportunity. Please note how our information from the cardiograph goes directly to the monitor in the administrative center's clinic. If it is a functional disorder, they will get straight. If it occurs due to some dysfunctions, then considering the presence of a clinic disease, we need to investigate deeper. We need differential diagnostics here. We can bring everyone to Nizhny Novgorod. It is convenient that this is all applicable to local medical stations and it is technically possible. This is just great. Now we can see how ultrasound device is connected to the telemedicine network. We can show you remarkable things now. Land is very close to the abdominal wall. So we need to look on the top of the screen. As it often happens, an expert in the administrative clinic looks at the X-ray image brought from the original hospital and says, if the shot was taken slightly more to the left or right, everything would be much more clear. In our case, the doctor in the administrative hospital supervises the hand of the doctor who sits in the village Krasnaya, located about 60 miles away from Nizhny Novgorod. By using such a method, medical experts can get all the information they need. Please follow the direction obliquely to the abdomen surface. Now, move down slightly, like that. Next day, we get to the next village. This is a regional hospital in the village named Abramova. Local surgeons observe the operation which at this time occurs in the administrative hospital. Webcast provides a full picture of the operation to the village medical staff. For this purpose, Intel equipped administrative regional clinic with a special high-resolution network camera, which was later donated to the telemedicine center of the same clinic following the project's completion. During two weeks of the project, YMAX equipped minivan visited seven villages of the Arzamas rural district. Today, looking at the eyes of school children in the villages, and especially at the patients who came to the local medical stations hoping that Nizhny Novgorod doctors would help them, I believe that the future of a telemedicine is with WiMAX development, with the wireless technologies, with Intel products and research, which our company is ready to share with all Russians. Intel Corporation uses its experience of chip production and technology innovations to make wireless communication and information processing an integral part of our life, at home, at work, on the road. With the new kinds of wireless device, the whole idea of wireless communication shifted from the fact of absence of wires to the big opportunities which were impossible several years ago.